you ever wondered how to create golden text effects just like this one in Photoshop? Well, in today's video, I'll be covering the full process on how I create golden text effects in Photoshop. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so I'll go over and open my Photoshop, then I'll select my file. I'm going with um, Pixel, so I'll select my file to 3840 by I want the large screen so I'm going to go 3840 by 2160 and I'll put my resolution at 100 and I'll use 16 bit so that I can get um so that I can get more details that I need for this effect. Alright so I have this um, background I'm going to add solid color I'm going to make it black all right so i'm going to lock this layer so that i can i will not be bumping it around so the next thing i want to do is to um go back to my foreground color and set my brightness to 50 percent so i want this 50 percent um um green value here all right so i'll go back to my text tool here and i'll choose my text and i'll just write um gold just like this so i'm going to select my font i'm going to go with um sharp go text i'm going to go with this thick one here and yeah so i'm going to scale it up just like this so that it covers um, the full document yeah I want to also align it to the center all right so the next thing I want to do is to start building my effect so I'll right click here and go to blending options or, or layer styles all right so in my layer styles I'll go back to bevel and emboss I'm going to reset this to default I'm going to carry my depth to 700 then I'll carry my size to 11 here just follow these settings with me okay then I'll leave my angle at 90 leave my I'll leave the rest like this you can see increase the size up to um, 20 anyone that you want to use all right so we've gotten and you can see um the effect is building it is building up bit by bit so the next thing i want to do is to drag this text layer this one that we created here i'm going to drag it onto this folder icon to create a group so now our text is inside the group all right then i want to create a new layer and i'm going to drag it on top of these other layers then I'll go over to my gradient tool, or you can just press G on your keyboard. By the way, this is the gradient tool here. Now, make sure that your foreground and background colors are set to white and black. You can hit the shortcut D to do it, or you can manually come here and change it by yourself. All right, so I want to um, do this. I want the gradient from dark to um bright okay i'm going to go over here and i'll change my gradient to this style here this white and black so i'm going to drag this up like this all right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to clip mask this um into my group here then i'll go to um layer styles uh, i'm going to yeah i'm going to my blending options and then i'm going to clip mask this into the group all right so we have this okay i also want to reduce this to about here to about 50 60 percent all right so the next thing i want to do is to create um a gradient map so i'll create this gradient map and um, i'm going to go over here and just um, clip mask disk also into this um, gradient view 
then go over to your gradient editor i want to load or import my gradient i'm going to be linking this in the description below so this is it so i'm going to load it and i'm going to go over here and i'm going to play it here all right so um this is the golden texture playing out here all right so we're going back to the text here this golden text and just um just double click on the text double click on the gold text we're going back to our layer styles here all right so uh, i want to go over to inner shadow i have to get rid of this inner shadow so i'll go over to this first inner shadow here and i'll reset to default settings so i'll make sure that my size is bumped up to 60 pixels okay then i'm going to leave my opacity at 30 pixels and this is going to be at normal or multiply it's basically the same thing okay now if you look at this gradient you're going to see um that you're going to see what this inner shadow has made it has made it to wrap around the um edges of this text and that is actually what we need all right so i'm going to go back to this layer again and then i will add a stroke here all right so in my stroke i'm going to make the stroke size um 10 pixels and um i'm going to go where i'm going to go to fill type and i'm going to go to gradient and here i'm going to load that same gradient that we used here this one so i'm just going to load this um all right so i'm going to load this gradient here and i'm going to leave this at outside let me try to zoom in into this layer to see what we have here okay yes that that is it i okay we're just going to leave it at this sorry for that okay we're just going to leave it at this and then and then yeah okay um next thing i want to do is to create a new layer and i'm going to clip mask this make it to be outside i'm going to clip mask this into the main text now I'll go over to filter and go over to render and clouds Okay, so I'm going to go over to overlay and okay, I'm going to reduce the opacity. Okay, I'll go over to filter and blur and Gaussian blur and just um, blur it a bit like so. Alright, we're heading somewhere. Alright, um next thing i want to do is to add textures to this um to this gold effect so i'm going to um head over to my gallery and i'll bring in this effect i'll bring in this effect here okay once it loads i'm going to clip mask it into um the existing um this thing then i'll go back to this blend mode and i'll reduce this um effect just a bit so if you zoom in you are seeing that um texture on on it here so i'm going to go over to this layer style also and i want to add an outer glow i'm going to pick a color from here just like that and i'm going to increase the size i'm going to increase the size to like here 
and I reduce the opacity to here. Now we have that sub two glue on the text. Awesome. So, um, so when you are done, this is actually a very very good um good texture or text effect already made. So you can now go over to your selective colors if you want to edit the color of the gradient. I'm going to carry this up here. So here you can edit the color of the gradient if you want it to be more red. You can drag it down and you can play around with it. So this is before and after. And right here you can see that the text is also live so I can edit the text i can write anything i want to write um inside the text and it will still appear as a good um texture okay so i wrote text and i can also change the font to whatever font i want to use so yeah this is just a quick way of creating the gold um text effects here in photoshop so exactly like this we've created the good and you can also move it to any position that you want and if you want to use another project just group it just group all the layers together so that you can take it to your document and also use it whenever you want to use it okay if you found this video helpful um kindly subscribe to this channel and also like this video it's very important that you do so so that the youtube um, algorithm will recommend this video to other people who may want to learn this as well as you are learning it um thank you very much for sticking to the end and yeah i'll see you in my next video